The iPhone 13 isn't a game changer for Apple's series of smartphones, but it is an important iteration that offers better battery life, a better processor, and an upgraded camera setup compared to previous iPhones. If you own an iPhone 12, this is unlikely to be your next phone, but if you own an older iPhone, such as an iPhone XR or an iPhone XS, this could be your next handset. On paper, you'd be hard pressed to find a reason why Apple didn't call this the iPhone 12S. The design is largely the same, the specs don't look hugely different, and there aren't many headline grabbing new features. However, everything on the iPhone 13 is just a touch better than it was before, and some elements are significantly better. The highlight of the iPhone 13 is its battery life. Previously, iPhones haven't been synonymous with strong battery life, but during every day of our testing with the iPhone 13, we found it hard to run out of juice. This isn't the best battery life we've ever seen on a smartphone, but it is the best we've ever seen on an iPhone. The iPhone 13 features the new A15 Bionic chipset, which is incredibly powerful and it's paired with four gigabytes of RAM. We found it was able to run multiple apps and do any task we wanted to quickly and efficiently. If you need a little bit more power, you may want to go for the iPhone 13 Pro as that comes with six gigabytes of RAM. There's a new duo camera for the iPhone 13 that improves clarity in images. There's also the introduction of sensor shift optical image stabilization, which was previously only available in Apple's Pro Max handsets. And that's a big deal for those who want to be able to shoot quickly without losing the subject in a blur. Even the screen on the iPhone 13 is a touch better than what we've seen before. If you're upgrading from an iPhone XS or a phone before that, you're gonna notice a huge difference here. If you're upgrading from an iPhone 12, it's just gonna be a little bit brighter, but it's still a big improvement. One thing to note that the new 120 Hertz refresh rate isn't available on the iPhone 13. If you want that super fast screen refresh rate, you're gonna to want to opt for the iPhone 13 Pro or Pro Max. That won't be a big deal for everyone, but if you're looking for a super smooth screen when playing games or scrolling through your Twitter feed, you may want to go for one of those other handsets. Another reason to opt for the Pro is that that features a ceramic shield on the rear of the phone. For the iPhone 13, the ceramic shield technology is only available on the front screen. Ceramic Shield is Apple's own durability technology. It was introduced with the iPhone 12 and it makes a return here for the iPhone 13. What does it do? It essentially makes the phone four times more drop resistant than previous iPhones that don't feature the technology. This doesn't mean you should drop your phone just to see if it works, but it is a big improvement if you do end up dropping the handset. You've also got five color options for the iPhone 13. Those are blue, midnight, starlight, product red, and pink. When it comes to storage, it starts with 128 gigabytes. That means there's no more 64 gigabyte flagship iPhone. That's a big step up and it means a lot more storage on the base version of the phone. If you want more space, you'll be able to buy the handset with 256 gigabytes or 512 gigabytes of storage. If you need more than that, look towards the iPhone 13 Pro or Pro Max. And if you're looking for a smaller phone, you should look at the iPhone 13 mini, which features very similar specs to what we've spoken through here but it's in a much smaller package. The iPhone 13 starts at $799 or £779. That's $1,349 in Australia. If you're going for one of the top options, you're gonna be looking at over £1,000, $1,000 and near to $2,000 Australian dollars. While at first glance, the iPhone 13 may not seem like a great leap forward for Apple, the improved battery life, performance, screen and camera all add up to be a worthwhile upgrade for anyone who's coming from an older iPhone or if you're looking to make the switch from Android. Thanks for watching Tech Radar's iPhone 13 review. Be sure to like and subscribe and we would love to see you over on the site to get more insight into the iPhone 13 and everything in the world of smartphones.